Hi, my name is Tabitha Wanjiko Gikanga. I am a marriage and family therapist. I'm a lecturer in this field of marriage and family therapy. I'm also an author. I've authored a book with a very interesting title, I Choose to Enjoy My Marriage. I'm currently partnering with Ponea Health. I take their client and I do this with a lot of passion because the job Ponea is doing is actually going further than I, I could reach myself. Common causes of problems in marriage is like once you get married, you're supposed to make adjustment. And many people do not actually make adjustment. What I mean is you get married and you live like a single person. That will make your marriage not be very, very happy. The other thing that actually kills our marriage, and this is very tricky, is unrealistic expectations. Unrealistic expectations is that when I get married to this man, he is going to be the way I want. And I tell people when they're getting married, there was a time when people used to buy cars, not like today when people import cars. We used to buy cars locally. And uh, you would actually be told there is a car that is on sale as is and where is. So even in marriage, you, when you are going to get married, you are not going to get married so that you can uh, change your partner to become the way you want. You actually take that person as they are. And if there is anything you are going to do to them, probably is you make them a better person than you found them. Because I'm a Christian and my training is the kind of training we call integrated model of counseling where spirituality is very much involved, psychology is also very much involved. And so I look at the word of God which says God said it is not good for man to live alone. Meaning, and God said, we will create him a helper suitable for him. Meaning, this person is not self-sufficient. They need a helper. Why? Because they have that weakness that you observe. So when you get this person, do not expect that he is going to be the way you see him when you are dating. Because when people are dating, their personality when they become um, marital partners, they are character. Because there is a difference between personality and character. Character is a real you. Personality is the shell that you put on yourself, the one that you want people to see. And it doesn't last long. When you get married, you become yourself. So it is good to know you are marrying a human being who has weaknesses just like you yourself have weaknesses and realistic expectations sometimes ladies also expect men have money all the time and if he's not going to be having money probably that makes their marriage very very troubled another thing that is within the common causes of problems in marriage is uh, social immaturity Social immaturity is when you are married and uh, you behave like a small girl or a small boy. You want to see who was talking to your husband, who was talking to your wife. And in this era of telephones or the mobile telephones, oh my, people want to scroll and see who talked to their partner, who wrote a message. I would look at that like social immaturity because you married this person when he was a grown-up, when she was a grown-up, and she had a, a social setup. There, there, there might be people you don't know in this person's life 
And so you cannot cut off all those relationships just within the time you get married. Either you would get to know some of these people or probably you might not know them, but uh, you're not marrying this person to become your slave. You're not uh, making this person cease to be a human being and to be a social being. So I would imagine that uh, you should be ready to have a person who was relating with other people and who should continue relating with other people. It is their duty to know the boundaries they shouldn't cross. Those are some of the things I find to be very, very sensitive when it comes to a marital relationship. Thank you for joining us in that uh, episode that we have just concluded and I want to believe you'll be able to book us on Ponea for the services you need. Looking forward to engaging with you for the next episode. Thank you.